Howdy folks, it's a tall turtle here. Welcome back to Survivor Craft. And today we are going to finish Open GL Air again. We're going to finish our branch mine, our original branch mine, and then we are going to show you the new one. I am just dropping off some seeds quickly and we have to get some water for my water bucket because I was doing some creek building in the new area, which I'll show you at another time. And um I used up all my water. So there we go. Alrighty, I was going to feed my animals, but looks like we're almost at the maximum count already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maximum count is ten at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll just feed them later. Um cactus. Finishing up my cactus growing. Don't worry about that. Carrots. But I got a lot of things to do. I'll do that off camera. Let's get going though, right away. Finish the branch mine. In fact, let's um, no, let's go, let's go this way. Finish the old branch mine. Show you the new branch mine that I started and we actually have to light up a few areas. We need to clear out a cave together today. At least I hope it ends up being a big cave and not a bunch of small ones with the walls in between. I gotta figure it out. And I'm going to show you some new stuff I've been building off camera. I've been doing some of my park building off camera. We'll see if we get to all that today. I have a feeling that's a little ambitious for a short episode, well, for a regular length episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish this original branch mine, which we were tour, we will tour in detail at another time. Look at that. That's a railway going across through there from the train station to the um, beach resort. All right. It is 4th of July night as I record this my family is um that fireworks I am not because that is the worst case scenario for my health issues so I'm just gonna record some Minecraft while they're gone and I'll have my wife put the kids to bed when they get home and they are going to be in a crazy mood because um the fireworks start several hours after they're normally asleep oh dear this isn't gonna last very long is it um the whole point of this was to do my last row of my original branch mine together. And it's going to be a quickie, isn't it? Because I'm not going to fight around the lava. We could try to go around it or over it or above it or below it or something to um, see what's on the other side. But I just haven't been worrying about it. I just found diamonds in the bedrock, like the next row over off camera. So we're not going to find anything anyway of interest probably so i'm just showing you how i do this which is kind of this is it <laughs> i go all the way out to my coordinate dig out the ground underneath it should be lava no it's not going to be and then i um well then i put in a block and post when i'm done well so that three minutes in finishes my original branch mine Ooh, you can hear my laundry going in the background. I apologize. Scare your ladder in case of emergency. Do a nice elevator. By the elevators, it says in case of emergency, you scare your ladder. So that's it. The original branch mine took me almost a year to complete this. Granted, I um did a little by little. Took forever to do the bottom row because I went through the bedrock. Found at least a stack and half of diamonds just in the bedrock. But as this is it. It was built to look attractive and pretty. And, um... All the way down to bedrock, starting at level 60, I believe. So it was a long way. Long time. The next branch mine that I've already started is going to be much less hassle. Still going to use the same pattern. Because remember, if you do this pattern, you can see every block without mining every block. There are more efficient ways in terms of math to do this. But then you don't see certain blocks, but then with the math it says, well, the chances of there being a block, even a diamond, you wouldn't miss it because you'd have like a diamond, you know, next to each other so you can maybe skip a few more. But I like to do this where you see every single block and you mine as little as possible. Branch mining, not strip mining. Strip mining is when you take the earth and you strip it down layer by layer. This is branch mining. You're doing branches. And then you can do a branch of branches if you want to. But this is it. I'm going to take a nice screenshot of this if I can. Don't know if that's going to work or not, but we'll try. Take one there too. So there we go. That's the original branch of mine. It took me forever. Let's take the scary ladder and go up. And then I'm going to show you my next branch of mine, which is very similar, but a slightly different concept. Because I'm going to not put 
fences to block it off. Because originally these were all going to be dark, but then the monsters were too loud. There will be no fences to block it off. So that saves a lot of time and materials. And then we're going to actually have a back area. Oh, it's night. Let's see if we can avoid the phantom super fast because I haven't slept since I joined the server here tonight. There we go. And then we're going to have a back row that's open so we do not have to check our coordinates. Normally when I mine, I have my coordinates up the whole time. And I stop on my coordinate, turn it around, blah, blah, blah. But we're actually going to have a back row. So we go to our coordinate, turn around, zigzag. It speeds me up tremendously in terms of... Um, in terms of how long it takes to, what am I looking for, die right. Speeds me up tremendously in terms of how fast I can get through my branch mine and efficiency and everything. So I'm going to show you that. We're going to keep fences just for a brief second just in case. Let me put this away. And then we're going to sleep and then we're going to head to the new branch mine. All right, we hopped out of bed and let's head through. I even made a secret path so I can just zigzag through here now. I love making diagonal paths. You can cover so much ground. Because of my lakes and ponds above us, we had to kind of turn around a little bit. So it's not a complete straight zigzag. But it gets the job done. So I went from acacia to dark oak. I'm starting to use dark oak in my builds now. At least for here. So there's a mine there. I want to show you where we are, though. So if we look at... Here is the Welcome Center. The map. Lopez, the beacon. So what happens is you come through there. Oh yeah, don't look to the left. I don't want to spoil what I did over here. But you can come out here, for example, and then there's this overgrown area. You don't really know what it is, but if you come up here, ta-da, authorized entrance only. It is the branch mine entrance. And then to get back to the base, authorized only it is in the claim, so no one can take anything. And here it is, super simple, my branch mine. I already started two rows. But like I said, the significant thing is the very back, which we'll show you in a second. It's open, so I know where to turn around. And then we aren't using fences. So very quick, very efficient. I can put my very valuables in here and then just collect them at my base. And then I have stairs, so when I go down, I can add stairs. And if I really need cold or something, I have an emergency fortune pick, which I should throw many on, I guess. So before we mine, I quickly have to check some light levels because um, on the top row here, when I was building my um, creeks above, which I'll show you either in this episode or the next one, I kind of goofed. I didn't goof, but I wasn't very careful about my torches. <laughs> So I built creeks above this, knocked the dirt down, and ended up um, with some torches moving. I just want to check light levels because I don't want to be mining later and have a monster come out because monsters take fall damage now. So even if I'm down there like 10 blocks, they'll still drop down and get me. So what I need to do is I'm going to come through here, try to anyway, and we're just going to check these layers super fast um, while I repair what I'm breaking. Can I reach that one, please? 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 No. Okay, fine. Let me put this all... Whoops! Let me put this all back. I think it's like this, right? And then I put a torch on it. No, torch is going on there. Why is there a torch there? Anyway, we're quickly going to zoom through here and make sure there are no... Missing torches. See, I did stuff up there. Okay. Good. So I'm going to zoom through super fast. Make sure all my light levels are still good. So we don't get a surprise in the future. And when I'm ready to show you the mine, the rest of it, I will. I'll be right back. Alright, looks like the rest of these are good. Because um, I haven't built my creeks up above them yet. So everything, oh, what's that there? There's an opening there. But it looks lit up enough. So we're just going to check two more, I think. Everything, why is that all open? Oh yeah, because see, I was doing building on top. That's okay, as long as the light levels aren't going to let anything through. And we are good to go. There we go. And we're stopping here because the next one is the ocean. So that takes care of that. So the next thing we need to do is we need to clear out the cave. There's a cave system in here. 
I want to clear it out with you all on camera. Um, but I'm hoping, I'm really hoping this gets us through all the cave. Because um, what I'm worried about is that this won't cover the entire cave system. Because, um, oh yeah, this goes everywhere. Good. Because, um, hang on, I'm going to concentrate on this super fast. Because you know how I walk caving. I super freak out all the time. Um, because, oh, this is behind, oh, this is, I don't even want to go here anyway. This is behind my base anyway, I think. Or behind the, um, where we're mining. So we need to go back that far. Okay. What I'm trying to say is, the caves, well, that took out all of that. Um. Why am I having a hard time talking and concentrating? Very strange. Anyway, I want to make sure this is actually clearing everything out so I don't um, think I cleared it out and then later I am mining my own business. Ha ha ha. And what? What is this all cleared off for? Oh, this somebody else is through this. Good. I don't want to be mining strip. Ah, says the wrong word. I don't want to be branch mining later. And find more caves you have to clear out later. I'm hoping this takes care of everything. Why do I have such a hard time saying that? Yeah, okay, so now we're... Yeah, here we go. Now we're getting into my... Um, wither thing. And good, that takes care of that. Good. Okay. So the more I can clear out... The more... I can mine. Some was already down there, so that's fine. Some of this is already explored. The more I clear out now, the less I'll worry about when I'm branch mining later. Um, that's where I came from. Is there anything over here? Was that everything? See, that's what I'm concerned about is I think I got everything and then later as I'm mining, I run into an entire new cave system. Well, that was extremely uneventful. Somebody started mining here. Um, okay, well, looks like we're going to have a chill craft episode again, because not much is going on in here. Um, obviously, there's more cavage, because I didn't run into my... Wither station that's up against the cave. So, which way are we facing? South, right. And my southern border. Well, it's 232. No, because we don't have our effects here. So, we got a long ways to go. Um, okay, so there's my effects. And we're heading south, which means we're near the beacon. And we're going to be mining while beyond the beacon. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm hoping this is covering my area that I'm mining above. There's no other cavage to get to from here. Which means... I didn't even get to the caves above. What's down here? Somebody else's work. Okay. Um, I didn't even get to the cave system that's above my mine. Um, because when I am mining above, hmm, over see, because over here there's all those caves that I. Well, let's just get this back in place. You have no idea what I'm mean about, I'm sure. It's very awkward. One, two, three. So this is going to be filled in. And then, oops, four. See, that goes on that side. Okay, whatever. So what we're missing 
Is it this one? One of these is open. Maybe it's this one. Because there's a cave system here that I blocked in. Here it is. Yeah. There's this cave system too. That isn't... Um, it goes down somewhere. And there's monsters down there because I've been hearing them. And we didn't see any of that when we cleared it out. So that means more cave system that you don't see. Okay, that is the longest ridiculous ramble. So essentially, I was trying to clear out all the caves in my block. Right, my four sides of my new mine. And I was hoping that would clear out everything, but it isn't because there's another cave system that I did not light up that should run into blocks I've placed, which we didn't, which means there's a second cave system. And then there's oh, open jail there. And then there's the caves that run into my nether area, which we didn't see. All right, fine. So that's not all the caves. And we didn't even see any monsters except those skeletons that weren't even where we're going to mine. So, how anticlimactic. All right, so this is just going to be a branch mine episode. <laughs> so anyway, what I wanted to show you, after all that, is how my mine is working. So we did that already. This one is next. No, we did that one already. We did that one already. I did a lot of this. Here we go. This one is next. Okay. So the way this works is we simply mine through like you would in any other case. Super simple, but what I've got this time is at the end, instead of staring at my coordinate screen to keep track of where I am, and yes, I still fill this in. I know that's stupid. I just do, because why not? At the end of my quarter, the end of my row here, instead of staring at coordinates, I simply know where to end because I have a racetrack, meaning um, an ending. And then I turn around. What an awkward, <laughs> what an awkward conversation I'm having with myself. I apologize. I just wanted to do this quickly for you, I guess, and show you what I was doing. We're going to keep going. No cuts. We're doing this straight through here. All right, here we go. My lowest light level usually gets to nine when I put torches that far apart, and I have, I'm, I hear the rhythm. So I'm not even counting blocks or anything. I just, whoop, see, that's too far away. It should be that one. I just feel the rhythm. And then I keep going like this. And then I place a torch one back. And then that keeps my light level at nine, at the lowest. And then I step back a couple blocks. So if I open up to water or a cave or lava, I have time to react and not fall straight through. We are finding a bunch of nothing in this row, except for some iron. Whoop. Ooh, I gotta mend my shovel. I see what I'll be doing after this episode is done recording. I'll be mending my shovel. Um, then I gotta think about, I'm not gonna fill in above my head in this case. Whoop, what the heck? See, I wasn't, I was off my rhythm. See what happens when you're off your rhythm? And then pretty soon we should break through. Uh, let's see, how many more can we do there? And torch, come on, any day now we should be breaking through. So this mine actually isn't going to be anywhere near as big as the original one. But if, ooh, look at that block leg, holy moly. Um, but once this branch mine is done, I can always go that other direction and mirror it over there. Because I'm going to take over that next spot of the island. So there we go, boom, see? This is how I know we stop instead of steering a coordinate. So then what I do, that's actually off. I ended up screwing up somehow when I did this. Got all excited taking these away um as i find the next one so one two three oh, i can just look up here why do i see i hear a monster see there's another cave system here that i missed that wasn't when i cleared out the cave that's what i was trying to that's what i was trying to explain so then we'll just clear this out a couple right because the next one's going to come out be, i knew i take that torch out it's going to come up between these right so i just do a couple I'll leave a block, then I'll come down, ooh, cool, then I'll come down, clear this out, it's much faster when I'm not talking, I promise, and then we don't need torches up high, right, we just put them down across from these things, so put a torch there, 
towards there, I guess. Close enough. And this light level never gets below like 10. Or 11, 10. Um, Mach is not up here, is he? I don't think I accidentally left some light levels here that were bad. No. So there you go. Awkward as it sounds. We'll go back to, but let's take some of this now. Even though I could have done this on the next pass. I'm just going to take it now because I can. And then fill it all in. And expect to see this cave that... There it is. See? See, there's a cave system here. Oh, jeez. So, um, I don't... See, that wasn't part of clearing out that other cave. I guess we could do it now, right? Why not? Am I going to remember where this is? Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Like, ravine, too. Where's my sword? Let's blow up. Thank you. This I don't even really need to do because this... Is beyond these walls, right? So these walls are right here. This doesn't even matter. Because that's something else. Um, what's going on here? Oh gosh. Oh boy. What's that? What is that? Oh, that's my... Um, is that my wither killing area? That seems really... That seems really low. Maybe that's my wither killing area. I didn't realize it was so low underground. There's no way it's that low underground. But those would be my blocks, right? Because what else would that be? Whoa. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see up there. It's not working. Hmm. Well, this will be interesting when we start mining this, right? Come on. What is that back there? Can't tell. Yeah, that must be my willer killing area. Okay, well, I'll have to be super careful when I mine this out, huh? Someone's been there. Someone stopped there. Alrighty, well, now I have my answer about that. So we'll clear this out. Whoop, let's sleep towards this here anyway, just because. Okay, I have another ravine. I always seem to have a ravine to deal with when I'm branch mining. So anyway, this can all get filled in because this is beyond where we're going to mine. And then for now, this should get filled in just for now. Okay, the awkwardness continues. So anyway, we came out here. Now we're going to go back that way, which means we can fill this. Oh, what happened here? That's weird. This is going to go here, the next one, so I can actually... Clear all these out too. That will drop me down, yeah. Clear these out as well. Um, and that brings me to that one. We'll come out there, but for today we're going in this one, right? Because we did that one. Wait, I'm, duh. I'm getting kind of carried away here, aren't I? I'm normally not this off kilter, but. Good grief. Uh, okay. Don't know how I messed that up. Boom. I do know what I'm doing. I promise. So anyway. Wow. That was the most complicated way to explain that. But I assume you understand what I'm doing. So we go in out one way, one direction. And then we turn around, come back. Then we have our racetrack going around the bottom. Normally what I would do... And I would clean out the entire racetrack for the entire level and then put in little stairs. But I'm not going to do that because then that takes a while. I just want to give you a quick idea what I'm doing. Even though this isn't being presented the way I planned. So we're going to keep digging through this stuff and getting back without any cuts. I'm going to quickly show you what I've been doing off camera above ground. Where are we at here? Let's stick one here. And then off camera, I'm going to go mend a bunch of things. And then by then, my family will be home from the fireworks on this 4th of July holiday. Again, sad I couldn't go. But um, with my issues, fireworks really are the worst case scenario. I mean, I could try to, like, take some precautions and things. But really, no, it's not worth it. Um, I'll get all my excitement trying to put the kids to bed way past their bedtime. So we're quickly going to come through here. But now I understand why my... 
monsters were being hurt even after I cleaned some stuff out. Come on. We should be running into... No, we won't be running into that additional cave. It'd be way off the end that way off camera. Where I saw that cave before that we didn't run into this time. So here we go. We're almost through. We should be almost through anyway. Once those effects were out, we know we're getting close. Oh. Alrighty. Ooh, it got quiet. My um, laundry stopped and my AC stopped. Oh yeah, you want to talk about heat. Every I know I've been talking about heat in every episode. Every time is worse. The heat today, what was it? It was high 90s with like a zillion percent humidity. It was absolutely ridiculous today. Oh my gosh, it was insane. And the kids were outside so much, but they don't seem to mind. Lots of water, sunscreen, make them come in. Oh, then it went pouring rain. Yeah, so then we had to deal with kids in soaking wet clothes. They don't want to take their soaking wet clothes off. So that was an interesting, interesting scenario today. And I don't have to fill this in. I just do because I can. We have three torches left. Weird. Um... Hopefully we make the best of them here. We should be coming through soon because our effects went off a while. I'm going to go one extra block. That will bring our light level down to eight, which is still fine. What's this? Well, that was the mine we started. Nice. Okay, good. So this, 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 this. Fill that in so it'll fall. And we can put one torch in there. One torch left over. There we go. So we did all these, so then what I can do, I can come through and clear this out, like so. Then what I'll do off camera, that I was awkwardly doing on camera, is I'll go to that last row where that racetrack was, and I will clear out, I'll clear out everything and like put in my, my starter veins that are like two or three deep, so I don't have to count. So I just rush through, come back, rush through, come back. So what I did on video today, in like the half an hour I've been recording, would only take a matter of minutes or less when I'm normally doing it without talking, right? So then I can come through like this and put one in here and do a starter feed here and then a starter feed here. Ooh, careful that the stuff down there and then... What happens is I take all these torches down because I don't need them up that high. And I put them here like this. And there we get our torch back. And we can even do this last one, I think. Yep, we don't need one up there. There you go. See how that works. So then what I'll do off camera is I'll go to the racetrack on the other side and clear it out just like this and do all the starter feeds. So it's exactly the same thing on the other side. Piece of cake. The explanation and visual, I think, was way more complicated than it needed to be. <laughs> but it works out. I promise it works out. And it's normally super fast. So like I said, what I did during my talking normally can be done. Oh, it's going to be dusk again. Normally is done very, very quickly off camera. So I've been busy. I've been really busy. So this you already saw. And this is new. I did my main path out to the beach and then connected it to here, which is our wither killing area. I put up, I finished my landscaping around the organ house, so I put in hidden, lamp, hidden lighting, some lamps, more landscaping, a nice hedge here. I fixed all this. Like I said, I would. And then I didn't do anything with this hot spring, but I got my waterfall in. I'm just going to keep a path. I'm not going to do like a bridge. And then water that moves, which I'm very proud of, actually. That took a long time to, not to figure it out, but how I wanted to do it. Water that moves. This green space is going to stay just like this. So that's done. Completely done. It's going to be all clean and everything. I might throw in a few more plants. And then working around... Oh good, I can do this now. I started my little path this way, and I started my little path this way, 
but I couldn't finish them because I had to wait for this to turn to grass, which is doing now. So I can finish these off camera. I was going to connect to this path here, um, which is going to go out to the beach, kind of. Actually, it might go that way so that we only have one going to the beach. We'll see. And then coming back, I put in a whole bunch of trees, a whole bunch of lighting, a whole bunch of tall grass. And then this little open area is going to stay just like this. I was going to put benches in there, but I don't think so. That's just going to stay like that. So that once I finish this path stuff, now that it turned over, this is all done. This whole section up to the main path is all done. And then, like I said, I might just make this path go this way. Ooh, we need a light in here, at least for right now. Um... I don't know yet what's going to happen between this area and that area, so I need to get my path going over here, close to the organ house. Maybe I'll fill stuff in with grass here. And then I don't know what's going to be in this space yet. I think the beach might just come all the way back. Haven't decided. And then over here, I'm surprised nothing spawned on this. Over here, this is going to be our mega tree house, so we're going to have at least four mega spruce planted here and then on top we're gonna have like a treehouse lookout thing and then the path will go around and then there'll be a path going this way probably with just trees and landscaping and benches over here trees landscaping benches remember that note to self trees landscaping benches and lamps on that side of this path which hasn't been built yet and then if we go here this is this is where the creek is going to go. So these blocks will be the center of the creek. Going out to the little ocean. Here. And then this part, that's all dark. This will be like an upper hot spring. And this will be a lower hot spring. With a little waterfall in between heading to the creek. So that would take care of this section. It would take care of... The mega trees, the hot springs, the path going behind with benches, lamps, and trees. And then I'll fill in, you know, trees and stuff here to hide all this. And then all that leaves is this space between here and the beach, which I might just have like plains with um, a bigger beach. Or I might put trees along the edge, I don't know. And then after that, we have to decide what we're going to do with this. This is all going to stay exactly the way it is. Over here, though, we need to do something with the hot springs and then put in more trees. And then this might stay the way it is. I'm going to put in restrooms, though. I'm actually going to put in, like, a restroom building. Probably right in here. Cut this out, put in a restroom building. So those are the plans for the area. So, again, kind of an awkward episode, but we haven't had an awkward episode well, I was going to say in a long time, but we haven't had an awkward episode since the last episode. But that would be it for me. That was a really long episode. Talked about the new branch mine, finished the old one, talked about the plans. Um, the mega tree will be on camera. The hot springs will be on camera. Filling in the spaces, like along the fence and over here, will be off camera. And then uh, we have a few more things to do to finish phase two of the base. And then my base will be entirely done. Although I never really say anything is done in Minecraft, but it'll be close to being done. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed recording and playing for you. And without blabbing on too long, I'll just simply see you next time.